Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I will tell you, teach you how to use VLOOKUP in Excel 2013 and I'll teach you how to do it in four different manners. Uh, you will know how to do a VLOOKUP from the same sheet that is if the lookup data is in the same sheet or in different sheets or in different workbooks and in the end how to do a multiple VLOOKUP at the same time. Let's consider this example. Assume that I am teaching a class wherein there are four students, Rambo, Superman, Hulk and Thor. That's an amazing collection. It seems I am the... <laughs> Alright, <And laughs> let's not <laughs> go over there further. And these are seven subjects that I teach. And these are the respective marks that these people have got over here. Alright? So, now if you want to look up the results based on these names for any of the subjects, we can use VLOOKUP. So, the first thing that we need to do is, we will be doing is looking up data from the same sheet. So, the data is in the same sheet. What we will do is, we will type in a name over here, say Superman. When I write Superman over here, see what will happen. Open over here. See. Oh, this turned into red. Oh. Let me write Thor. Now Thor, Thor turned into red. How did that happen? Well, that's very, very simple trick. But for that, you'll have to watch another video of mine. It's called Color a Cell Based on a Formula. Color a Cell Based on a Formula. All right. So let's let's find out the marks for Thor. Very simple. How to use VLOOKUP starts with is equal to VLOOKUP. You don't need to type the complete formula. Just type in tab. Press tab and the complete formula would be typed in over here along with the bracket. Now, what are we looking at? The lookup value is always what are we looking for? We are looking based upon, we are looking for the marks based upon the student's name. So, the lookup value would always be the student's name. Comma. What's our table array? Table array is nothing but the range or the collection of cells from which we need to look up the data. All right. Now we are looking up for subject one. All right. So subject one. Now it says column index number. What is column index number? Column index number is nothing but the position of the data which you need to look at, look for. So we know we are looking for subject one. So what is its column number? So column number would be decided based upon the lookup criteria lookup criteria would always be column number one so if this is the lookup criteria yes this is the names this is the lookup criteria so this is column number one so subject number one would be column number two so we'll type in two over here comma zero we are doing an approximate match and here we are thor got 50 marks in subject one over here let's check for hulk See, <coughs> so that is how you do a VLOOKUP for the same sheet. Now, what if this data is, is, is in a different sheet? So let's do that also. Let's delete this. And I have put in data in sheet number two. Well, if you want to go to sheet uh, to the next sheet without using a mouse, you all you have to do is just press control page down and control page up would take you back to the previous sheet control page up. So here's the data. All right. And we need to look it up from here. What do we need to do? We need to place a VLOOKUP over here. Let's look up the data for Superman. All right. And let's look up the data for subject number three. Let's do that. Subject number three. So we'll place the formula over here is equal to VLOOKUP lookup value is this comma where's the table array now we need to click on sheet number two select the table we are looking for uh, the marks for superman for subject number three we come select the complete data only up till subject number three and it will automatically tell you which column you need to type in column number see it's sh sh uh, saying five are by 4c so 
4C is the column number. So all you need to do is just take the number from there, 4. That's 4C. You take 4. Type in over here, 4, comma, 0. Bracket close. Here you go. See? You can check the marks from here. Superman got 21 marks. So that is how we do it from different sheets. And what if we had to do it from a different workbook? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll copy this data. And open up a new workbook. Control C will copy this. And we'll press Control N. It will open up a new workbook. Control V would paste the data. Now this data is not looking correct. Uh, it is. We can't read it clearly. So. To read it clearly, we need to resize it. How do we resize all these columns together? Simply type Alt H E, sorry, Alt H O I. I'll type it for you Alt plus H plus O plus I. Alt H O I would resize the cells would automatically resize the cells all right get let's get back to our view lookup so we need to look up marks for let's let's say for hulk i like this guy okay we need to look up marks for say subject number two all right is equal to v lookup lookup data would be this table array now that's where we need to go to the that worksheet different worksheets select complete data we are looking for subject 2 right so what's the column number it is showing us 3c so we all we need to do is just copy just type 3 over here comma 0 bracket close and we are done what happened actually the comma didn't come up over here <laughs> here's the answer see so very simple now the all important one how to do multiple VLOOKUP now we were now till now we are finding data for a single subject. What if with a single VLOOKUP you want to pull up this complete row? Say for Rambo, when I type Rambo, I want when I do a VLOOKUP for Rambo, all the subjects data should be populated over here. We can do that very very easily. See how is equal to VLOOKUP. What's the lookup value? The name. Okay. Now we will have to press F4 over here to fix this call this. All right, then press comma. It says table array. Select the complete table array. Now this can be either from the same sheet, different sheet, different workbook. Would the formula would be the same? Press F4 again. Fix this data also. Comma. Now comes the challenging part. For every subject, we have to have a different column number, right? I have mentioned the column numbers here also. Now how do we get to have incremental column numbers as we copy this formula from here to here well there is a formula to do that c o l u m n s columns it's an array formula what it does is it calculates the di the, the distance the the number of columns that are in a given range so i'll give it this range Now the result is 2 over here. What I'll do is I will fix the first column so that it will always be permanent and this column would be variable as I copy my form formula from here to here. C11 would remain same. However, D11 would turn into E11, F11 and likewise which would lead to a dynamic column number which would solve our purpose again so this is how I get the column index number and I press in 0 approximate match bracket close I get the answer for Rambo 30 now let me copy this control C select the complete range press control V and here's the answer C so very simple I hope you like this video so until the next video you can practice this and to practice this, you will need the workbook. 
Well, to get the workbook free, all you need to do is go to myelesson.org and download the file free from there. So until the next video, keep on practicing and this is your guru now saying sayonara, have a wonderful time ahead, happy learning.